Shalom saints, how are you? Shalom saints, how are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing well by the special. So I'm just waiting for someone to come live so we can start today. Shalom, hi, for those who join, God bless you, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Today, the topic for our prayer session is destroying satanic altars but before we pray we must understand what are satanic altars and what are the implications of these altars in relation to our lives in relation to our future in relation to every area that is connected to us as human beings both in the spirit and also in the physical realm so beloved saints altars are very powerful places where man connects with god and this is a principle that is biblical when first almighty god revealed himself to abraham abraham and built him an altar so he could sacrifice unto the lord and so he could receive impartation from God through that altar. Also, when we see that when Noah was released after the floods from that from the after the floods, when he was released by God from the ark, he also built an altar. So we know that the enemy has the same principle. So agents of darkness, Satanist people who are demonic. They also erect altars, but these altars are to curse people, are to trade destinies, are to further the agenda of the enemy. So we're going to speak against these altars today in prayer. We're going to pray that every demonic altar that has been erected, either by our forefathers in the past or by family members in the mo moment, or by people in general that don't don't mean well for us. Um, we're gonna pray against these altars. We're gonna reject them. We're gonna curse them. We're gonna ask the Lord to pull them down and destroy them, so that they can no longer curse us and our destiny and our future. So I want to say this to you today: the Lord Jesus is a sacrifice that the Lord God has offered on the altar for the atonement of our sins so it's important that before we begin to pray against demonic altars that we ask god for forgiveness of all of our sins and everything that we have done wrong we need to ask god that the lord will forgive us today before we pray we must always approach god in in supplication asking him to forgive us from all of our sins and from all iniquities from everything that we have done in the past or in present that it stands as an offense to god and also we need to ask forgiveness for our ancestors because some of our forefathers are the reason why we are here today in the condition that we are because they did have they did have altars because of either their ignorance or their rebellion before almighty god it doesn't matter those altars were erected those altars are still speaking against us and we that's what we're going to do today and another thing i want to say to you is that satanists people from the occult they also erect altars and sacrifice things on those altars from animal sacrifice and even human you know it's it's known it's a place where they connect with satan because they got to offer something onto the enemy in order to gain powers to be able to operate in the physical realm and to oppress people so we're gonna pray and i'm gonna ask you to be in spirit of prayer in spirit of supplication to god for the forgiveness of our sins we're gonna ask the lord to have mercy to visit our generations until 50 generations before us so we can be forgiven all right so now that i have explained to you the implications of these altars and what altars are and i have made a video also here on tiktok where you can go and check the scripture but it's in the book of genesis but anyway if you are a child of god you already know the bible you will know that 
um, men of God used altars to sacrifice unto the Lord and to communicate with God. And God used those altars as a place of impartation for man and woman of God and also for atonement of sin. So we, we can, um, you can go and check the, the scriptures. You will see that I'm, what I'm saying is correct. So let's approach God with reverence. I want you to first ask for the forgiveness of your sins up to fifth generations before you. And secondly, we're going to thank God for giving us divine revelation, for teaching us today what we need to learn in order to be released, in order to be delivered. All right. Father Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before your holy throne of grace and mercy today. Father Lord, we stand here collectively, Father Lord, as your children, asking you to have mercy upon us up to fifth generations before us. We pray that you will forgive us, Almighty God, from all sin, from every rebellion, from everything that we have done against you and those made in your image up to fifth generations before us. Father Lord, forgive us. Remember the blood of your son, Jesus shed on a cross of Calvary for the remission of our sins and have mercy father lord and forgive us and be merciful unto us we also want to thank you almighty god because you have given us divine revelation by showing us the scriptures in which we need to stand upon to be delivered from the clasp of the enemy from satanic and demonic altars so father lord we thank you for this opportunity of prayer it's not by coincidence, Lord, that we are here gathered in your name. It's for a purpose. And Father, Lord, I'm asking you that you will reveal yourself to each one of us today. That you will begin to show us exactly how we need to pray. And that you will reveal what is the root of the altar and how we can pray against this altar specifically today. I pray that the Holy Spirit will guide us in this prayer. That we're not going to be pray just for prayer. Just for prayer's sake. But our prayers will be effective. Father Lord, I'm asking you that you begin to bind Satan in this life. And every demonic force that is seeking to disencourage us from praying. That is seeking from stopping our prayers to, for being answered by you. Father Lord, I'm asking you cast these demons onto the bottomless pit of the abyss. Forever and ever. Never to have dominion, control, power and authority against our lives. Father Lord, we thank you for your presence today. Lord God, we approach you this, this, this afternoon and we ask you for your divine visitation, Almighty God. Father Lord, we know that some of our ancestors, they be the altars unto the enemy, sacrificing animals to ancestors or even demonic forces because they didn't know better. Some of them knew better, but they were walking in rebellion. And because of this, we are suffering today, Almighty God, with altars that are speaking against our destinies. There are altars that are speaking against our future. They are speaking because they have received blood, whether animal blood or human blood. And because of this, Father Lord, we have been unable to attain mercy and to receive divine revelation concerning our future, concerning our assignments here in the land of the living, concerning, Father Lord, our destinies. So, Father Lord, I'm asking in the mighty name of Jesus, begin to visit each one of these demonic and satanic altars from our father's side and from our mother's side and whatever blood they have received in order to curse us in order to humiliate us in order for stopping us from being what you have called us to be father lord we plead the blood of jesus upon our lives upon our generations father lord and we pray that you will begin to pull down these demonic and satanic altars that father lord you begin to destroy these demonic altars father lord destroy this satanic and demonic altars where we were born where we were born father lord destroy this demonic and satanic altars where our parents were born where our forefathers were born wherever these altars have been erected father lord i'm asking you that you will go there in the name of jesus you begin to destroy each one of them father lord destroy these satanic and demonic altars destroy these satanic and demonic altars speaking against us for us not to be able to receive receive divine revelation from you 
for us not to be able to manifest the gifts of the Holy Spirit here in the land of the living. Every satanic and demonic altar speaking against our success, speaking against our advancements, speaking against divine revelation in our lives. We pull you down in the name of Jesus. We break you. We destroy you in the name of Jesus. We reject. We renounce. We denounce and curse to death all evil and satanic agreements that were made on those altars. Every demonic consecration that was made on those altars we reject we renounce we curse to death we cancel them in the name of Jesus and we now declare unto heavens and unto the earth that we are now under a new covenant with the blood of your, our, your son Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary. We are in a new covenant. A new altar has been erected. An everlasting altar where the blood of Jesus is a sign of our atonement, of the forgiveness of our sins. So Father Lord, I'm asking you right now, cleanse us with you, the blood of your son Jesus. Cleanse our destinies, cleanse our, our lineage, cleanse our family members with the precious blood of your son, Jesus. Father Lord, I'm asking you right now, arise and fight for us. Father Lord, those of us that still have over these altars in order to continue to further the agenda of the enemy. Father Lord, I pray that you will arrest them today, that you will bind them with the everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire, that Father Lord, those altars will be silenced completely by the fire of the Holy Ghost so that they will no longer in the spiritual realm be able to speak against our health, be able to speak against our finances, so they can no longer be able to speak about our success and advancement and purpose and destiny destiny here in the land of the living. Father Lord, I'm asking you in the mighty name of Jesus, intercede for us, O oh Lord Jesus. Stand in the gap for us right now. And Father Lord, I pray that you will visit each one of those demonic altars with the fire of the Holy Ghost, burning them to ashes, pulling them down forever and ever. Father Lord, whatever our forefathers promised to the enemy, and they promised some of us we were the exchange currency in those altars. Father Lord, we we reject these evil covenants. We reject them. We denounce them. We renounce them and we curse them to death. And we call about upon, upon the blood of Jesus to stand as an atonement for our sins, to answer for us in judgment. The blood of Jesus, we ask the blood of Jesus to redeem us right now, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We plead the blood of Jesus over our lives. We plead the blood of Jesus over our past. We plead the blood of Jesus over our future. We plead the blood of Jesus over our hearts, our souls, and our spirits. That Father Lord, when the enemy raises in judgment against us because of these evil altars, the blood of Jesus will begin to speak of our deliverance. The blood of Jesus will begin to speak of our deliverance. The blood of Jesus will begin to atone for us and speak unto us deliverance and freedom. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, it is the blood. It is the blood of Jesus that takes away the sin of this world. So, Father Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus upon our lives, upon our spirits. And, Father Lord, we say now that we are rejecting whatever demonic and satanic covenants were made on those altars. All that are still being made by wicked men and wicked women. Father Lord, we want to say this, to this afternoon, release us in the mighty name of Jesus. Release us in the mighty name of Jesus from satanic and diabolical covenants established in demonic and satanic altars erected by forefathers, by wicked parents, by wicked grandparents, by wicked family members that are still persistent in worshipping the devil by means of saying that they are worshipping ancestors and they have times of the, month, or, 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 of the year where they offer sacrifices on these altars. Father Lord, today we say we have no agreement with them. We break off every demonic and satanic agreement with these altars, with this um, um, demonic and satanic covenant in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever is binding us to these altars, Father Lord, I pray that you will destroy it right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever is binding us to these satanic and demonic altars, we destroy it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever is holding us back, tying us to these demonic altars, Father Lord, I pray that you will begin to destroy it right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Begin to destroy, Father Lord, every binding of our destiny destinies 
of our future advancements, success of our children, of our family members begin to destroy Father Lord right now and release us today. I'm asking you, Almighty God, have mercy upon your people because of the blood of Jesus shed on the cross of Calvary. Have mercy upon your people, Almighty God, and release us, Father Lord. Don't let us continue to suffer because of wicked men and wicked women that have no understanding of who you are. Father Lord, we come out of those altars right now. I call everybody's heart, soul, spirit, and body to come out of those altars right now in the mighty name of Jesus, in the village where you were born, in the city where you were born, I command your spirit to come out of those altars right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command your heart, your soul and spirit and the summon of your soul to come out of those demonic altars right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Be released unto your purpose in the name of Jesus. It is by the blood. It is by the blood. It is by the blood of Jesus that we are set free. That we are delivered. The blood of Jesus is delivering you today, beloved. The blood of Jesus is speaking deliverance into your heart, your soul, and your spirit. And the Lord Jesus has gone onto those altars to release all those on this life today. 49 people here today, 50. The Lord is releasing you from those demonic altars. The Lord is fighting for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command your soul to leave demonic altars filled of animal blood. I command your spirit to leave those demonic altars filled filled with animal blood and sacrifices to the devil. I command your spirit to come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out. Begin to receive divine revelation. Begin to receive divine power from the Holy Ghost to go forward. To march forward onto your purpose. To march forward onto your destiny. To march forward onto what God has equipped you to do. I quicken now your soul, your spirit to begin to receive divine revelation today of what you have taken part that is standing as a hindrance between you and your promised land in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, those who are taken as children to be partakers of the supper of Satan. Father Lord, they were children. They didn't have any power to say no. Today they say no. I don't agree with these demonic covenants. I renounce them today. I command them to be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I call upon the blood of Jesus to set me free today. I call upon the blood of Jesus to set me free today. I do not consent to be a part of any demonic altar in the mighty name of Jesus I break covenant with the devil I break covenant with ancestral spirits I break covenant with satanic and demonic forces from Zion Church churches that worship by the sea I break these demonic covenants in the mighty name of Jesus I do not accept to be a partaker of iniquity in the mighty name of Jesus I call upon the blood of Jesus to cleanse me from all unrighteousness and I stand before the Lord this afternoon declaring my victory in Jesus name declaring that I am set free in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Father Lord release your people onto their purpose onto their destiny onto onto what you have called them to do Father Lord right now I'm asking you begin to destroy every demonic and satanic yoke covenanted in those altars onto the enemy whatever spirits that are bound to this brother and sister that is here on this life because of that altar because of the sacrifice that was offered on that altar father lord i'm asking you right now destroy that altar destroy that covenant in jesus name today you're gonna shout now as i pray you're gonna shout father lord in the mighty name of jesus i renounce denounce cancel and curse to death every evil agreement made with my consent or without my consent with demonic and satanic altars that is tying me to the kingdom of darkness tying my destiny tying my future tiny my purpose and my success i destroy it right now in the name of jesus i break covenant i break covenant with those altars in the mighty name of jesus some of you right now need to begin to understand that the Lord Jesus will deliver you because he has power some of you think that it is impossible to God but he is here to deliver you. Believe it by faith that he has gone onto those respective altars to destroy them, to deliver you today, to deliver you today. So receive your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Receive divine revelation of how you need to march forward and how you need to pray and how you need to 
walk from today onwards walk by faith and not by sight father lord i'm asking in the mighty name of jesus that whatever satanic and demonic items that belong to those altars that are still present in the compound where these people live buried doesn't matter father lord i pray that you will um take it out of the ground and burn it to ashes and destroy whatever demonic item that serves serves as a point of connection between them and this demonic altar father lord let them begin to vomit right now because some of them have eaten from the table of the enemy when animals were sacrificing these altars they ate of the food they ate of the meat of the animals that were sacrificed let them begin to vomit right now in the mighty name of jesus let the fire of the holy ghost begin to go into your tummy and locate this demonic and satanic peace that is in your body that represents a connection between you and these demonic altars in the mighty name of jesus holy ghost fire holy ghost fire holy ghost fire locate 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 father lord locate the evil items that are still present in the household that connects them to these evil altars and begin to burn them to ashes and destroy them in the mighty name of jesus father lord we thank you for your presence this afternoon we thank you for delivering your people from the clasps of the enemy we thank you father lord for standing in the gap for your people this afternoon granting them divine revelation granting them divine revelation father lord begin to visit up to 50 generations before us and cleanse us with the blood of your son jesus so that when we stand before your holy throne of mercy and glory no longer these demonic and satanic covenants will stand and the devil will not have a way to accuse us the brethren but the blood of jesus hallelujah will speak of our freedom of our release of our deliverance at every minute at every moment that our names are called in these altars we silence the voice of those altars in the name of jesus we silence the voice of these altars against our destiny against our hearts our souls and our spirits against our family members against our future against our past against our present we curse to death all these altars we command them to be silent right now in jesus precious name (sighs) Father Lord, thank you so much for your presence. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that gives us guidance. Thank you, Father Lord, for delivering us this afternoon from the hands of the enemy, from the power of Satan, from the class of the enemy. Father Lord, you said that you came to set the cup to release your people this afternoon from the grip of the persecution of Satan, from the persecution of demons, from the persecution of agents of darkness. Father Lord, grant us the victory. Let us be too hot to handle. Let us be too hot to be handled by the kingdom of darkness. Let our hands be completely filled with the Holy Ghost fire, so that when we pray, Father Lord, fire will come out of our hands to begin to burn to ashes every demonic and satanic arrow from the kingdom of darkness that has been sent against us. We command every demonic and satanic arrow sent from the kingdom of darkness in order to torment us in order to destroy us go back to sender by fire in the mighty name of jesus go back to sender by fire in the mighty name of jesus father lord release your people from satanic and demonic covenants established by their forefathers with demonic altars father lord release them this afternoon let them not be the same again almighty god let them begin to feel the presence of the holy spirit where they are praying let them begin to feel the fire of the holy spirit wherever they are right now let uh, father lord i don't know their present condition but father lord release your people i see chains being broken ropes being broken i see chains being broken ropes be broken I see demonic garments being stripped off in the spiritual realm. Begin to strip off every spiritual demonic garment of shame and reproach that has been representing you since the day you have been born until now. Strip it off in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And receive new garments of praise. Receive new garments of praise. Receive new garments of praise. Hallelujah, Father Lord. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for all that you did all that you are doing and about to do almighty god we praise you and we worship you and we thank you father lord because we know that every satanic and demonic altar is now silenced destroyed and it can no longer speak against us because we have broken the evil agreement in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah father lord we thank you for your brothers and sisters here 
I thank you for my brothers and sisters here. I praise you for the deliverance. I know that the deliverance is complete. That from today on, they shall pray with knowledge. They shall walk with authority. They shall know that you are God. And there is none like you, O Lord. There is none like you, O Lord, that breaks the yoke of the enemy. That sets the captives free. Father Lord, let your people begin to march in victory today father lord as i stand in agreement with them i know that they will come back and testify of your goodness and your mercy here in the land of the living and i shall see the reward of the wicked beloved saints i want to say this to you this afternoon i'm not here because i want to make money never i have asked people to give me anything if you are giving you are giving from your free heart because your heart wants to give i'm not here to charge anybody even when i do my tiktoks every day and i'm diligent i do it because I have great love for souls because I was once oppressed by demonic altars. I'm going to give you my testimony. I come from a family of high priestess, people who worship Mami Wata, people who worship the river goddess and worked for her for up to 10 generations before me, very high ranking witches. And the release me and release my family and we are now serving the Christ therefore I have an obligation to come here and pray for those who are still in bondage those who, are, who don't know how to pray for themselves I am here to say that I am here to uh, listen the Bible says that we can bless one another if I feel that I can bless somebody no one can stop nobody here to bless me. So that's a lie from the enemy. You are jealous and you are operating in the spirit of jealousy. I pray that you will, in the name of Jesus, repent. Because you are not speaking against me. You are speaking against the work of the Lord that has been done here. So your reward shall come. Your reward. Why don't you open your own channel and go and open a business to make money? If that you, all you concentrated and focus about is money. May God have mercy on you. And I pray that you will learn and understand what is your purpose in life. Because right now, you just being somebody that is not focusing on what matters. So I want to say this to you, beloved brothers and sisters. From today on, when you pray, don't just pray any random prayers. Pray aggressively against, against satanic altars. And I'm going to say why. Although we are saved and we have come to the knowledge of Christ and we have rejected these altars. Unfortunately, some of our family members are not saved. I'm talking about brothers and sisters, even grandparents. Some of us, their grandparents are still alive. They still believe in this ancestral way of worship. And in the, in the, in, in the modern world, I mean, I say in the Western world, people are Satanists. There are people who worship and offer things to Satan. So you have to learn to pray against demonic altars because sometimes people erect altars every day when when somebody is an agent of darkness and they want to destroy you what they do is to erect an altar and they present you to the devil and they say this is the person i want to be harmed so i want you to understand this that you need to pray every day that every altar speaking against you is silenced by the blood of jesus you say to them i break every evil agreement with any altar that is speaking against me in jesus name you have to do this daily the reason i am have been instructed by the lord to come here and pray every day is to teach you how to pray is to teach you how to how to Pray deliverance for yourself. Don't rely on pastors, on anybody. Yes, people can pray for you, but be yourself the agent of your own deliverance. Participate on your own deliverance by knowing how to pray. By knowing how to pray and stand in the gap for your family members that are still in bondage. I want to say something here today. There is somebody here that you are feeling sad and you have a spirit of depression that follows you. No matter what good things come your way and you have things that are good with you, there is a shadow. There is a spirit of depression that follows you, of oppression. You feel heavy. You feel heavy and depressed. If this is you... Just identify yourself so I can pray for you today. Following you, Moses, in the name of Jesus, I speak for your deliverance that the Lord Jesus will deliver you from that demonic spirit. I bind that spirit and I command it to go back to the pit of hell, never to follow you again. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, there is somebody here as well. You are believing God for a job, you have been knocking doors, yet no door has been has opened. If that is you, identify yourself, Benjamin, in the mighty name of Jesus, wherever you have 
put your CV, wherever you have requested for a job. I pray that the Lord will make your destiny help us locate you. I pray that you, the Lord, will make your destiny help us locate you and call you by your name to give you a new job. Somebody here, you are highly involved in the occult, but it's not an occult that is uh, uh, like um, doing rituals. You depend on astrology. You are always concerned, con concerned with checking what your sign is saying for you today. If this is you, identify yourself because the Lord Jesus is saying you need to repent. Once you repent from that sin, the Lord will begin to open the doors for you. The Lord will begin to receive your prayers. The Lord will begin to manifest your power in your life and you will be released from that addiction of having to constantly consult your, your star sign. I pray that you are delivered in Jesus name. I pray that you are delivered, Joan Leibert, in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord will deliver you and grant you divine revelation. If there is a lady here, you are saying in your heart, why is this lady always here and I'm here faithfully and she never reveals anything concerning my life. Beloved, it's not me that reveals, is the Lord. It's not me that reveals. If the Lord whispers in my ear, I can hear it from the realm of the Spirit. I will, I will deliver the message. But the Lord is saying that you are trusting in people here too much. You need to be in your prayer closet. Because the Lord wants to say what he wants to say directly to you. The Lord wants to say what he wants to say directly to you. You need to be in a spirit of prayer. You need to be in a spirit of prayer. Another thing I want to say to you this afternoon is that you need to... Believe that God has all power. There is no demon. There is no incantation. There is nothing that is bigger than God. That is beyond God's control. Don't be afraid. There is a person here as well on this life. You have been threatened. Somebody said to you, you're going to see what's going to happen to you. You had an altercation with somebody. And that person said to you, you're going to see what's going to happen to you. And since that day, things have never been the same again. Things have never been the same again. You can see that you are struggling after that demonic threat that was saying, Cindy, in the name of Jesus, I release you from that satanic and demonic curse that was speaking, uh, spoken against you. I release you in the name of Jesus. I'm asking you, Father Lord, release Sister Cindy, that that evil spoken word will go back to send her by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to bless your daughter. Begin to release her, Father Lord, from every satanic and demonic curse that was spoken over her life. Let her begin to walk in victory. And that person that said what she said to her, let them be put to shame because the Bible says there is no incantation against Jacob and there is no curse without a cause. So Father Lord, stand in the gap for your daughter, fight for her and give her the victory. Oh, almighty God, in Jesus name, the Lord is showing me that there is a gentleman here. You have a problem with your health, a serious one at that. And doctors cannot diagnose what it is. You have been from doctors to doctors, but you have a lot of pain in a lower abdomen. If this is you, I want you to identify yourself. Tell me who you are so I can pray for you. So I can pray for you in Jesus name. Identify yourself. If this is you, identify yourself. So I can pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. That you will be delivered from this infirmity. That you will be delivered from this infirmity. Father Lord, I'm asking you right now. Heal this brother, Father Lord. He is sick and he needs healing. Father Lord, I pray that you will heal him. I pray that this evil power that is operating against him, Father Lord, will be completely destroyed. Will be completely destroyed. Will be completely destroyed destroy father lord visit those in jamaica with the jamaican flag the times are hard for all of us but father lord i pray that you will visit my brothers and sisters in jamaica today visit them almighty god visit them with your mantle your mantle of revival father lord let the revival go to jamaica let revival visit the land of jamaica let the revival visit the land of jamaica father lord i pray for revival almighty god i feel that i need to pray for revival that those who will be able were able to pray are no longer praying. The elders are no longer standing. The elders are no longer standing, but Father Lord capacitate them. Give them a fresh oil and a fresh anointing, Almighty God. In the Caribbean, Father Lord, I pray for the nation of Jamaica. I pray for the nation of Jamaica. Father Lord, let Jamaica rise again in prayer and be that country that used to be standing in the gap for the whole world. Oh, Father Lord, I pray for them, Almighty God. My Jamaican brothers and sisters, Almighty God, visit them, Father. Father Lord, restore 
restore their church, restore their prayer altars, Father Lord. They need the anointing. They need the anointing. They need the anointing. They need the anointing. I pray for my brothers and sisters in the African continent, Father Lord, where I came from, where I was born. Father Lord, that is my continent. Father Lord, visit our people, my people in Africa, Father Lord, in the Americas, in Australia, Almighty God, visit with the fresh oil of anointing. Father Lord, it is the anointing that breaks the yoke of the enemy. Father Lord, you are coming to visit, to judge the living and the dead. Your son Jesus is coming at any time, yet we are not ready, Almighty God. I pray, Father Lord, that we will be ready. Father Lord, I pray that the Holy Spirit will make us ready, Almighty God. Father Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, I pray those who are walking in rebellion. Father Lord, those who think, think they can mock Christ and still receive good things here in the land of the living, show them who you are, Almighty God. Show them who they, who you are, Almighty God. Reveal yourself unto those who are still doubting, Father Lord. And release your people from the hands of the wicked one. All those who have been suffering at the hands of witches and wizards and warlocks. And they pray, but they are oppressed at night. They can feel the oppression. They can feel the oppression. And they are now beginning to feel powerless. Father, let the anointing visit those brothers and sisters. That the anointing will be so strong. That when they pray from today on, Father Lord, the fire of the Holy Ghost will begin to consume every satanic and demonic evil activity against them and their family members. Father Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, cleanse this life with your precious blood. Cleanse your people with your precious blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, there is somebody here, the Lord is saying that you know where the altar of your family is. This altar, you know where this altar is. You know very well where it is. You know very well where this altar is. And you and every now and again, your family goes and offers sacrifices on these altars, onto ancestors. If, if this is you, the Lord is saying, you need to be released by going there and saying, I no longer have any dealings with you in Jesus name. And don't you ever go back there again. Your family members are going to try to threaten you to say, why is it that you don't want to come with us to these altars? But I'm telling you, you will stand in righteousness and you will refuse to go. Even this, if this comes at a cost of you not be able to live with them, if you, the Lord will provide accommodation for you because you can no longer continue the way you are. You cannot longer continue the way you are. Because the Lord is calling you. The Lord is calling you unto salvation. On to be the pillar of your family. Through you, many are those who are going to come to Christ because of your attitude. Because of your attitude. Because of you standing firm in the precepts of God. All those who are on this life and you are Satanists and you are hailing the devil. Let me tell you something. All of us one day will die. And we're going to stand before a great God and we're going to have to give an account to him. So you are here bashing, laughing and do it whatever you are doing. You are doing it because of the pride of life. That same life that God has given you, you are using to curse God. But I pray that today the Lord Jesus will arrest you and you will know that there is a God that you're going to have to give an account to because the Bible says, that all sins will be forgiven to those who even mock God. But no sin will be forgiven to those who mock the Holy Spirit. This is not me. I don't come here for fun. I have better things to do with my life. But I come here because of the love I have for the Lord. And for the love I have for those who are lost. For those who are suffering. Because I was once a victim of Satan. And I'm here to say, let my people go in Jesus name. Let my people go in Jesus name. Every satanic agent of darkness that is here, you've been sent by the enemy to curse the people of God. I say to you, you will become like Balaam. You will become like Balaam at this moment. Although you are speaking curses, those curses is going to turn into blessing for the people of God. You are becoming, you are going to become right now as Balaam to bless us here on this life in the name of Jesus. Because the Holy Spirit is arresting you in such a powerful way that you've never seen power before like this. There is power in the 
name of Jesus. Not in my name. I am a nobody. I'm a servant of the most high God. And I declare today that everybody that has been here praying is released from curses. Witches will begin to flee from you from today on as you continue to stand in a gap for righteousness and for the word of God. You will begin to see the reward of the wicked. You are now liberated from every demonic and satanic altar speaking against your life. From today on, you are going to walk in victory in Jesus' precious name. I speak a blessing over your life. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he be merciful unto you. May his countenance shine upon you. May you, all your days in the land of the living be filled with the presence of God and the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' precious name. It is well with all of you here in the name of Jesus. I shall come back tomorrow again to pray for you. 1.30, lock this hour, or UK hour. I shall come back again to pray for you. And whatever the Lord is telling me to do, I shall be obedient. Because I know that this is your hour of deliverance. And the Lord is saying to the enemy and his agents, let my people go. Go in freedom. Walk in freedom. Walk completely covered by the blood of Jesus. It is well with your soul. It is well with you in Jesus' precious name. God bless you. I am Sister Dalila Dush Santos. I pray for you today. And I am con uh, will continue to stand in the gap for you and pray for you. And I am awaiting to see great testimonies from those who have participating in this prayer.